Guys, welcome back to Seapolis 2 episode 6. Now let's just get on to it. The goal for this episode is to actually complete the Under the Sea, Under the Sea questline. I think we have this. We have the Heart of the Deep. We do have a lot of Ender Pearl fragments. We'll need some silver. We do have some glow berries. Thank God for that because I didn't find a lush cave, but I did find some berries, I believe, in a chest or something. Oh, 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 oh. Oh no. Oh no. Did I throw them in the trash bin or trash can? Yes, I did. Oh no. I guess we need to go exploring then. And why not use the jet ski, which I never used? Oh no, it's not. Is it moving? It is moving. Oh no. Wait, what? How do you accelerate? Hold on. Okay, so we need to remove that. I'm not even sure what this is. All right, well, very weird. Now the plus sign should work. It's not working. Why is it not working? Do we need to power it on? Yes, power on. Whee! Nice. Oh, you need to constantly keep hitting the plus sign. Oh my god, that's quite fast. Yeah, but it's not really need it oh no i can't stop all right i'll go find some lush caves guys and i'll be back guys i spent half an hour looking for a lush cave and i just couldn't find it wait what you actually need to to complete it oh come on game are you serious well let's not even bother then let's not even bother let's get the skulking matter we need skulking organic fluid which we get from improved organic fluid all right guys let's see i've dragged the improved organic fluid here and i want to set up 12 ancient skulk bottles and i guess i'm going to do it like so yeah this is perfect this is perfect and then this goes like a so perfection I need a bucket of this so I can actually pump it out and set this to filter. Set this to output. Perfection. Now this needs to be set this thing. Skulking organic fluid. All right, guys, I actually moved it. Now we need a dynamic wolf with a dynamic tank. Placed like a so. No, not like a so. Like so, then we need some structure glass, and then dynamic tank again. Perfect, and we actually need more. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven dynamic tank. Let's see if we can. We can. Perfect. Perfection. Now this oops we actually need one less because this needs to be a wolf nice it is now storing skulking organic fluid which is amazing amazing very nice now no 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 we need to actually make some what do you call it skulking organic matter all right well that seems kind of stupid because i already had it but just for the sake of progression we're gonna do that like a so all right one barrel here set this to output and then 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 we definitely did have some powder there it is very nice right we can save this manually for the time being hopefully we get everything we need very nice okay we got some silver we can actually hit k very nice and we got silver gold we already had now silver 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 what do i want to do with it first i guess it's electrum guys all right guys i'm manually saving some more all right guys and now that we have diamond or diamonds actually upgrade the sieve to diamond level that is amazing that is amazing maybe we can upgrade two yes we can two it is well i guess that's something and then i made five stacks of uh, skulking transformation powder and i'm gonna sieve it and i'll be back abort that i'm not gonna sieve it i need to <laughs> place it here
All right, that doesn't work. Hold on. All right. Small little set of powder going in from this chest into these barrels and then these two outputs output the skulking organic matter into here. Wait. All right, let's see what we get from five stacks of skulking organic matter. All right, guys, not too much, to be honest. Less than a stack of silver. Let's see how much silver dust we get. All right, guys, we got half and a bit more electrum blend, which is fantastic. We're just going to smelt it. Then the next step is to make a machine frame. And I guess, as the quest says, the arboreal extractor to make latex, rubber, cured rubber, and yeah, machines that make more power, which is fantastic. All right, guys, we got five diamonds and the hoe. We're going to pulverize this hoe for another diamond. What we're going to do is is actually upgrade one wait what like i saw three gold upgrades give you eight items and this gives you 16 but that is much much more energy like it needs a lot of energy anyways we'll be gucci we'll be gucci soon we'll be gucci soon but where do we get the energy let's get it from here this is just a messy setup guys a very messy setup we'll fix it later let's go like a so hopefully these guys can keep up and yet this is very very manual i believe now this needs an output let's get a chest for the time being and place it here i guess all right nice all right that works and all it needs is some energy nice oh my god this thing is going like crazy very nice very nice all right guys we got a few stacks of electrum and i'm just making plates let's speed this up let's also speed this guy up speed everything up and we should get yes let's get have a stack of gears uh actually let's get a full stack yeah very nice all right guys next step is to make a machine frame i believe we go like a so very nice shall we make a few more Let's make a few more. I believe we'll need more anyways. Yeah, 16 should be okay. Very nice. Then we need two buckets and a machine frame. And we'll need one, two, three, four planks. Should be. Yeah, arboreal extractor. That's amazing. Does it need power? I don't think it does. So I need a tree. I've got some jungle saplings. I thought I did. Yes. <laughs> Thank God. I didn't put the correct drawer. Right. Cocoa beans. I like chocolate. Anyways. Let's grow a tree. Woohoo. Damn. Now how do we do this? Oh. Is it working? I have no idea. How do we know if it's okay it is working it is perfect does it break the block i don't think it does that is going to take a very long time oh my god we're gonna wait forever oh how about we use this one? Oh my god yeah that's much better that's much better All right let's get a bucket we gotta keep up we gotta keep up and if we go just like a so like a soul very nice all right guys uh, i got rid of a tree and i moved it here hopefully no mobs spawn up there there is a possibility but anyways i've automated the rubber cured rubber i've got both cured rubber and blocks and what i've done is basically made some more arboreal extractors placed them around a jungle tree their output the latex is going into a fluid tank in which i have added a bucket one bucket or two buckets one is enough actually anyways so whenever there is one bucket of latex in here the bucket will come into the basic fluid tank collect the latex and go back to the crafting automat to craft rubber the rubber then goes goes to a chest i'm not sure if the chest is necessary but i did place it and the chest just goes into our smelting setup into our solar cookers then the output the cured rubber is going into this chest which is then being sorted into this 
drawer which is amazing and of course the crafting automod is has been provided with the redstone clock on top because it needs a pulse anyways guys let's see it in action let's actually use some of our time we got 32 hours accumulated accumulated whatever you want to call it let's let's do that that is how much did we use oh my god yeah we should get tons and tons of buckets very nice this is perfect guys this is perfect can i set the, yeah, the redstone clock i think you cannot change it unless i'm wrong anyways and also i'm taking bone meal from here from the farm sorry bones and i've got a sequential fabricator here making the bones into bone meal and putting the bone meal to the arboreal extractors which actually makes more latex that way but anyways guys i think that's it's a slow process the latex the rubber the cured rubber but it's uh it's steady so we got a steady flow of cured rubber which is amazing all right guys and two complete this questline the machine frame of electrum age chapter we need do we need one of each it says optional but yeah i'm not going with the sterling this needs uh, coal and stuff it's good actually block of coal is 240 rf that is amazing then the lapidary dynamo is basically gems like lapis diamonds amethysts but i guess i'm going with the magmatic dynamo which is lava all right guys we got all of them magmatic lapidary and sterling dynamo um let's go with the magmatic one and i think guys i'm just gonna quickly move through the salty matter and colorful matter and just get to diamond meshes or maybe even emerald meshes i'm not sure i'll see how much time it takes and i'll let you know <laughs> Yeah, color for transformation powder. This should be quite easy to make, actually. Oh, can get a villager. That's amazing. Well, guys, the stealing dynamo is actually pretty good. And I think we have a steady supply of coal. Yeah, let's start with this one. If it doesn't work, maybe I can make two more of those. All right, guys, crystallizer. We should have everything we need. Perfection. Now, what does this bad boy need? actually what do we need salt it needs water and dust so we need a kitchen sink after i got a three iron and water bucket very nice now this can go back into the system all right can i need input from below yes it can let's actually do it that way Guys, the sink is an infinite source of water. You don't need to place it in water. It's just that my setup, it looks like that. Nice, we've got water. Now we need dust. Let's get a few stacks. No, we cannot do that. Let's hammer it ourselves. All right, I hammered some sand into dust and placed the hopper into the crystallizer. It's now working slowly, but very surely. Now what do we... Seawater. All right, to get seawater, we need a salt block made from salt like so and we need to place it underneath the barrel very nice and this will make it into salt water i'll place a few more like so nice and then what do we need to do we need to place some salt of course we do like so nice seven eight nine let's manually sieve that oh no where's my sieve mesh 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 what a mesh what a mesh guys all right let's do it and see if we get everything we want. <laughs> nice. Think we did? Yes. Very nice. Now, next step is... Alright, we need a waterlogged sieve. Now, I have no idea what that means. <laughs> but let's try it. Can I place water? Uh, oops. N not here. Definitely not here. How about right here? Is that a waterlogged sieve? We will definitely find out soon. Let's move our bed. Let's place a block of water here. How do we know if it's waterlogged or not? And let's see them. Hmm. Hmm. That's definitely not a waterlogged sieve. How do you waterlog a sieve? All right, guys. I removed the sieves and I placed the sieve into water. And this looks like a waterlogged sieve which is amazing i think that's exactly what we need let's test it out yes this definitely looks like a waterlogged sieve all right test time 
<laughs> Perfect, guys. That's exactly what we needed. Actually, guys, now that the sieves have water in them, they are waterlogged and you don't need the sources around anymore. You just need to place the sieve on a water source. That is what waterlogged means. Amazing, isn't it? All right, guys, let's get a stack of salty organic matter. I place some more, ba more barrels so it's faster. I'll be back when I have a stack. All right, we got a stack. Let's see it and see what are the results. Well, that's okay, I guess, because <laughs> we need to, to make all of them into coral blocks, just like a soul. Oh, yeah. Achievements, achievements. Did we get everything? We got everything. Yeah, let's actually not do that manually. All right, this should work. I've got a chest, an input chest right here. Now if I place the corals here, they will go into this chest. No, that's not what I want. Let's remove that. Um, they should go into the barrels when they have seawater. And this guy will just receive the output, which is fantastic. All right, what do we do with these guys then? Hmm. Okay, so we need to pulverize those and also create colorful organic fluid from skulking organic fluid. Okay, well, let's do that then. All right, guys, let's pulverize those two things. Those two I wanted to call them stacks, but they're not stacks not really stacks and get some colorful transformation powder very nice very nice all right guys next thing i want to do i don't think we will need any more silver or gold so i'm going to remove this setup and i'm going to expand it just like a so and then i'm guessing yeah 12 barrels on the sides so three barrels on each side with a fire co coral underneath perfection and this will convert that into oh nice into colorful organic fluid which is amazing and now i want another dynamo tank dynamic tank or actually before i make the same mistake guys let's convert a few of this colorful transformation powder into colorful organic matter hopefully we can get a stack wait what <laughs> are you serious are you serious so what so every time this is converted to colorful organic fluid the coral drains its energy that's not good that's not good guys all right guys we got a stack let's put it through our sieve and i'll actually watch it closely wait 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 what oh it's already almost done and i've got no emeralds huh well guys I think yeah, basically the quest line tells me tells me what to do. Diamond mesh and then I need Neverak. How do we do that? Redstone in lava. Well let's get a stack of it. Do I have a stack? Yes I do. Hold on. Alright guys, I've got a stack of Neverak. Now let's smelt 32. We'll keep the rest for later. Alright, we got 32 nether bricks. Very nice. I believe we go like a so to make nether bricks again. All right, guys, using the nether bricks, I actually made the magma crucible, but I was I was disappointed with the use of the magma crucible. I thought I could make lava faster, but it's actually very, very slow in making lava. So we're not using that to make lava. Uh, but yeah, guys, I think that's it for today's episode. We did a lot of things. We did progress. And also, guys, the final thing I would like you to know is that the corals actually don't die if you just place water next to them, which is amazing. And I was just being a noob. Anyways, guys, we did quite a lot of stuff, actually, quite a lot of progression, such as the automation of cured rubber, which is very useful and we will need it for the next episode. In the next episode, I'm guessing I'm going to automate seawater and saving some sand, sorry, getting some sand salt some salt into the seawater and getting the salty organic matter then we're gonna pass it through normal sieves and uh water sieves as well because this will, will automate the coral production then the corals need to pass through seawater again and they then they need 
And what do we need? Yeah, they need to be pulverized into colorful uh, powder, which then goes into the colorful organic fluid and colorful organic matter is being created. Then it's see. But yeah, that's all for the next episode, guys. <laughs> Anyways, I really hope you enjoyed the episode and I really hope to see you in the next one. Bye!